Welcome back to 32B. Um, look at that, 64, 64. We got plenty here. Recipe for that is that. Recipe for that is that. Put these in our ultimate furnace. None of those mobs have anything. None of those mob tools have anything in them. Should I do the same thing? Let's see. Pumpkin. I think I should. Pumpkin and watermelon. It's just melon, right? Yeah, it's just melon. So we'll do that for those as well. Once again, trying to do it in the wrong thing. Pumpkin. Melon. Now the stuff will spread in here quicker than it will in out here because out here we don't have the sprinklers above them. And I'm not really worried about their spread out here. To so make more crop sticks. In order to make them we need more sticks. I think that one of the things we should do is light this better. Let's grab a couple more. So this field, I think we are going to change out. We're going to make this field just carrots and potatoes. We'll do half in carrots and half in potatoes. Which means this one will be solely for wheat production. So we take those and put them away. 
this and use it. Um, grab these. Those three spots will stay empty on each side so that our carrots can be on one side and our potatoes on the other. I didn't realize I had hit the uh, R, but I guess I had. That can go back up in there for now. These can go in here. Cool. Okay, so... Fiery Thaumium Elementium. So we can get into Thaumcraft to get the Thaumium. We can get into Batania to get the Elementium. We still need to figure out. I need to figure out how to kill the Lich King to get us through that. In the meantime, we got something in introduction. What did we get? we didn't get this I have to make that still first so we're not gonna count that but let's make a dragon bow arrow or a dragon dragon bow So we make a dragon bow. That gets us that. What kind of damage does this do? It doesn't tell us. Can we check over here for mending? Yes. So we can get a mending. Can we check over here for punch? There's a punch too. Is there a power? How about quick? No quick draw. There is power. Power four. Is there infinity? No infinity. It's a, well that's a vampirism book. Okay. I want that with that, that with that, that with that. Um, is there... I don't want the curse ones, right? So let's take those out. Soulbound, 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 leech, insight, tombstone, soulbound, we'll get one of those repellent shimmer withering any of the curse ones I don't want mending I have mending on it lure luck of the seas night sight fire shield gills mining boost flame flames okay punch power unbreaking let's see if we can put those on it Uh, okay. 
17. Okay. So that has good stuff. Now let's see what we have for arrows. We have a number of arrows. We have some rats on arrows. We have some amp knocks all mobs back with the power of the wings. Arrows of swiftness. Hydra arrows. Powers and leech leeches life. I mean, we have some regular arrows too. We need to make more tide arrows. So let's do that. Recipe for this. Uh, one. Two. How many did we need? Do we need 16? I don't remember how many we needed. 16, okay. Not inundated by water, which means we can shoot into the water with it? Isn't that what that means? I did this again. Uh, put this up, put this up. Put these up. Let's go see how these actually do. Or how this bow does. Power wise. Why am I not shooting anything? Dragon, bone, arrow. I can put a gem on it, put enchantments on it, quests, aspect from Th Thomcraft. Well, that kind of sucks. So we can't use that arrow bow. Let's see what other bows we have. Pretty sure power three infinity breaking. Power three infinity unbreaking. Semi auto crossbow from Vampirism. Bunch more dark bows. Infinity quick draw. Let's take the stuff off of this. I want quick draw. This already has infinity. Alright, so all the stuff is off of it. So protection, sharpness, looting, ruined. Unbreaking 3, we have Unbreaking 1, so let's put Unbreaking 3 on it. Power 3, this has Power 3. Power 4, okay, so let's do that. Take those off of it. There's our Infinity. Alright, so Archer's Bow, Infinity, Power, Unbreaking, yeah, Power 4, I guess Punch 2, Tombstone Soulbound, uh, not Repellent, Withering maybe? We'll see. Quick draw. That's the other one I wanted, right? Quick draw. So now let's see. We put this bow up here. And we put quick draw on it. That's going to cost us four. We put our bow and infinity on it, that's going to cost us five. So now we have quick draw and infinity. 
So uh, we put quick draw and soul bound. That's going to cost us five. We put that and unbreaking. That's going to cost us ten. Is it any better the other way? No. Doesn't give us anything the other way. So that and power is 19. That and punch is 35. That and anything else is too expensive. Alright, so we'll keep what we have on it put the wrong thing up there let's put that there uh, remote let's put the right thing up there all right, so sunrise, how much damage can we do with this? 17, not bad. We killed it. Two shot. Oh, okay, that one down in the hole. Weakness. Yeah, I'm not sure that this is any better than anything we've had before. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not as good as that. And I'm pretty sure we also have levels that we can put on this. I should turn the, le the mansion off again. We have a modifier, so let's put make it sharper again. So that's quartz. We have 56 quartz blocks, 13 quartz, sharp ist. Well, we went up a little bit. Not a lot, but still better than nothing, right? Oh, I don't know if I showed you guys. <laughs> Remember I turned this on over here? Yeah, there was so much stuff still in the field that I had to... that I had to set those up with I had to put these up here because look, I filled drawers. 32 stacks. So, this will be working its way for a while. And the way that I've got it set up is that everything comes into the drawer controller and then comes out to our crafter and then from the crafter out. So, we're not going to need those for quite a while. Do I have tier 10, 10, 10 seeds over here that are coal seeds? Okay. I guess it doesn't actually show coal seeds. So, 
No, I guess I didn't. That is bronze. Okay, that's an unidentified bronze seed, though. We don't want that in there. Okay, so the seed reprocessor, dang it, only works for mystical agriculture items, not for those. Okay. And I knew this, and I put those up there anyway. Crop sticks. I'm liking the way that looks. All right, let's see what else we can make. We made the arrows. Uh, we need a sticky iron chain, which is an iron chain. All right, so sticky iron chain. So in order to make this, we need this first. Okay. Sure that's a means of putting something down, right? Uh we also need some dragon meal. Which that's not difficult. Uh dragon meal. So there's three types. There's sickly dragon, which we don't want that. There's creative, which that's not for us. And there's this one, which should be, okay, should work with pretty much anything we have, food-wise. Wow, that's all we have food-wise? Oh, that's all we have cooked food-wise. Plenty of non-cooked food. And that's it. All right. So we've got 14 dragon meals. We'll come back to that later. Uh, but that should have... Did we need a specific? We need 16. All right. So I said we'd come back to it later, but we need it now. Dragon meal there were other things that we could put in there there's the 16 man those grubs came in handy didn't they speaking of which let's go over to our apiary there's another queen here and we'll take all of this out and put it away and we just saw those grubs came in handy um, we'll put the book in there. We have Dragon Command Staff. It's just a stick and a dragon skull. The Dragon Command Staff is a stick and and a dragon skull. Which dragon skull? Our tier 5? I think our tier 5. Wow. Okay. So what is the recipe that only is with one? So one ice or two fire? Okay. So there it is. One ice or two fire. Um, we have this egg. Where's our other egg? Right there. We are going to make another room here.
Should have went three on that wall, and I will. This room will be our dragon taming room. And I say taming, but it won't really be taming. It'll be dragon hatching room. There we go. Uh, what is that called? Glowstone. Alright, so we want to get to nether rack. A lot of nether brick stuff in here, right? Nether rack. Notice how the room started getting lighter. Yeah, that's our uh, torch working for us. All right, so there's that. Now let's do this. We should be able to make We should be able to make two of those. And then grab our flint and steel. And we put our eggs on them. Dragon egg there, dragon egg there. Light that one, light that one, both of those. We will get a bronze and a red dragon, red fire dragon out of that. Uh, put this up. Glowstone back in there. That back up there. Guess we don't really need these because they don't do us very well anyway. Put those up there. Put the Dragon Command Staff up here. Those should hatch in, you know, 15 to 20 minutes. So about halfway through the next episode, those should hatch. Let's look up door. Iron door. Iron door. Reinforced door. Grab a lever. Okay. Why do I have two levers? I, I grab two, all right. Doing pretty good on power. That's oh, oh, we got a million in it. How's this doing? Got a couple stacks of coal coke. Um, what else? Let's put that over here. Go back in here and see what we can do. Let's make a mob fan. What is it called? Uh, mob grinding utilities. So mob grinding utilities, we want a mob fan. That should be fairly simple. Except we're going to need some stone slabs. Mob fan. Check. All right, and then we're going to need a tank. We'll be right back for, this is the end of 32B. Be right back.